In this video we're going to add in the score holders for the game and that's going to involve us um, introducing system fonts rather than the font that actually came with Pong. And we're also going to see how we can change a font to either be in bold or italic as well. Okay, so let's print these scores to the screen. So somewhere I need a variable to store um, the score. So I want to set it in a list. So score, left score first, and second score second, or right score second. Then these are the fonts. So this time we're going to do a system font. So I'm still going to call it font. You can call it what you like, but that's going to be um, pygame dot font, and then we get sys font. That means a system font. You just put in the name of the true type font that you've got in your system. I'm going to use Norisy, which is a, a, a font that you get um, on Linux. Um, you can use any one on your system, U times Roman or whatever. I'm going to make it size 60. I want to make it bold, even though this font doesn't look good in bold, but it shows, um, shows what to do. So fonts, the name, and I want to go for set bold. You can see here I can set bold, I can set italic. Um, in fact, let's just start that. I can set underline as well. But anyway, I'm setting bold, and all I've got to do is say make it true. If I wanted to get rid of that later on, I could obviously set that false. So now we've done that, we can now write um, our scores to the screen using that font, in this case Norrissey Bold. So what am I going to do? Well I'm going to have um, left score and I'm going to, um, that's going to be font, remember we're going to have to render that font, we're going to have to put our message, so our string, so in this case what we're going to do that, it's going to be uh, make it a string because it's a number, that's going to be score position zero and then I want to anti alaze it, um, makes it nice and smooth and I want it in red. The next thing I want to do is do the same thing but I want to make it for the right score and um, it's going to be exactly the same this so font dot render um, I want to make it a string, it's going to be score, it's going to be position 1 this time, it's going to be true and it's going to be red. So the next thing now I've done that is I actually want to um, get the rectangle that surrounds them. So I'm going to have left score um, and rec, of course you can call it what you like, and that's going to be left score and then we're going to use dot get rec which is a variable that comes with all of those as I mentioned in the previous um, video and then I'm going to do um, right score rec and that's going to equal right score dot get its rectangle that surrounds it using that method. The next thing is I want to get the center of each of those rectangles for where I position and the font so I'm going to do um, left score rec dot center and I want that one to be at 40 comma 40 or x40 y40 40 across 40 down and then I want whoops I want right score rec dot center and I want to be that one at 600 across and 40 down. So now we've done that, all we've got to do is blip them to the screen. Same thing for each, so screen dot blip. I still don't know what that means, I should look it up before the next video. I'm not promising I will. And that's going to be the left score that I print and for its position we're going to use left score rec. And then we want to blip to the screen the right score and where do I want to be? I want to be at right score rec. Okay, if I haven't made any mistakes, that should be it. So let's run that one, bring that over, and there is our old little thing there with us um, writing in bold. I told it didn't look good, but it does demonstrate um, what we want that we can make the bold, um, the font bold. I'll just show you, just gonna get rid of that. Let's just show you what happens if I make it set italic instead just so you can see let's run that there you go it's not no longer bold but it's uh, in that italic position i hope that you found this video helpful there's a link to the code in the description below stay in infield with winfield